Okay guys, so uh, my name is Hayden, uh, I'm one of your fellow classmates, and uh, you may or may not know, but uh, so today I'm going to teach you how to do uh, a slideshow in Google Slides, or a PowerPoint. Uh, so the first thing you want to do is just open up a new tab or a new window in Chrome, and uh, or whatever browser you use. Um, and you're going to go up to this bar up here, um, which is called the address bar, and you're going to type in uh, drive.google.com and just hit enter. And uh, it'll take you to this um, screen. And what you're going to want to click is you're going to click go to Google Drive right here. Um, and you're going to click that, and that's going to take you to this screen. So, uh, from here, you either click create account if you don't have a Gmail account or a Google account. Um, and if you do, then you're going to want to type in your email. So, I'll do that right now. There we go. Um, and then uh, it's going to pop up, and this box is going to be blank like this. Um, and what you're going to want to do, you, um, if this, if you're doing this on your personal computer, like not a library computer or anything, then you can make sure that this is unchecked. But if it is your personal computer, um, then, uh, you can just make sure you just check this so that it keeps you signed into Google and you don't have to sign in every time you want to use this. Okay. So I'm just going to leave that unchecked for now. So then you're going to want to type in your password, so I'll do that right now. Um, and if you can't remember your password, you're going to click Forgot Password, and then it will walk you through how to retrieve your password, uh, but hopefully you don't have to do that. So then you're just going to click Sign In, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then it will take you to this, um, which is your Google Drive. Now, if you just created an account or if you've never used uh, Google Drive before, then this should be empty. Like these shouldn't be here. These these are just my personal like uh, things that I've made before. Um, so uh, what you're gonna want to do is go up to the upper left hand corner, uh, right underneath where it says Google Drive, and there's a blue button that says New, and it might be a different color for you. I don't know. So uh, you're gonna click that. It's gonna bring up this drop down menu. And you're going to go all the way to the bottom where it says Google Slides, and it's the little yellow square with the white rec rectangle in it. And you're going to click that. And so it's going to open a new tab um, that's called Untitled Presentation Dash Google Slides. Um, and as soon as this loads in, which mine's taking a little while because I'm screen recording, uh, but once this all goes from gray to like clear, then you're going to go up where it says Untitled Presentation in Gray Writing. You're going to hover over that and click it. It should highlight it in blue. And then you type in what you want your, uh, your presentation to be named. So for demonstration purposes, I'm going to just name it My PowerPoint. So then once you've done that, you're going to type in Enter, or not type in, you're going to click Enter. And one cool thing about Google Drive uh, and Google Slides is that it will change. It will change. It will save all your changes that you make in Google Drive, and you don't have to click any buttons. Like if you go over to File, there is no save button because you don't need to save because it will do it all for you. So that's one nice feature. Now, when you first open this up, there's going to be this Themes tab over here. Now, um, you can scroll down, and there's all these different themes you can pick from. Okay, it just comes down to personal preference and what you're writing about and what you want it to look like. If you want it to look professional or fun or, like, relaxing, whatever you want it to look like. So I'm just going to choose Slate for an example. So it's going to load, and then it's going to, like, change your background and change your font, most likely, and maybe add a couple other things. So... Your background, you can change the background color by going up here and clicking background. 
you can see color and you can choose an image now I don't recommend choosing an image for your background because it is very hard to find font colors that will contrast with a lot of images so I recommend just going with a color like uh, and if you have chosen a theme from the bar like right over here then it will say theme down here and these are the colors that work well with that theme so I'm just gonna pick this yellowish color right here and uh, then after you do that then you're gonna click done and that's your uh, new color so what you're gonna want to do is go up to here where it says click to add title and you're gonna do just that so you're gonna click on it it's gonna do your little cursor right here and then uh, I'm just gonna do my PowerPoint for demonstration purposes um, but that is where you would put in what you put in up here or what you want your story to be called or whatever you're writing now what you want to do is go down to where it says click to add subtitle and you're gonna click that what I like to do with this box is type in the author so I would put by this is kinda of hard to see so I'm gonna change the color so to change the color of your uh, letters you're gonna highlight it by uh, going over with your little uh, cursor and uh, clicking and dragging across the words that you want to change the color of and then you're gonna go up here um, and pick oh where is it you're gonna pick um, I believe it will be one of these colors or one of these colors so okay that was not it um, you're gonna pick um, hold on there we go okay so you're gonna do um, I guess this hold on there you go text color and uh, you're going to want to uh, what you want to do is click on the format tab go to text color and hover over it and then make sure that this text button is indented and you're going to pick the color that will contrast the best with your background so I'm going to pick this color because as you can see it stands out on the background but it's more subtle than this white so then what you're gonna to wanna to do is um, so what I like to do with this box like I said is um, put the author so you're gonna put by your name except you're not gonna put your name you're gonna put uh, your actual name uh, so but this is just an example so then once you're done with your title uh, it'll look somewhat like this um, then what you want to do um, oh another thing is that you can get rid of this themes tab by just clicking the X because some people find that annoying um, so then what you're gonna do after you got that slide done then you go up here to the plus um, and click it and it's gonna give you a new body slide now if you want the background to be the same color then you can just go back into here and pick your same color again um, and if you want it to stay this color throughout the entire um, slideshow so you don't have to go back and manually change it unless you want to have a different color for every slide then you want to go click add to theme and that is going to add it so that um, every time you make a new slide it's going to pop up as this color so um, you're gonna click to add title and this is like the title of this slide so for instance I'm gonna put slide one and uh, then you're gonna go to where it says click to add text you're gonna click in there but before you type remember to go up to format go down to text color and choose your text color unless you just leave it as the standard text color that the theme package comes with 
So then you're going to type in uh, whatever you uh, want to type in. So I'm just going to, that's just an example. It's not going to pop up like this is. Uh, this is just like, um, not how it's supposed to pop up. Um, so let me fix that real quick. There you go. So it's going to pop up like this when you type. Uh, you don't have to worry about doing what I just did. That was just to fix this. Um, so now, um, this is what like you type. This is just example text. Um, so what you can do now um, is create like another slide just by pressing plus, and it'll be the exact same slide as this one, but blank. Uh, so then you can type in your next slide title and more words. But what uh, you can also do is click on this down arrow by the plus, and it'll give you all of these different slides that you can use. So there's the title slide, which we used at the beginning. Um, there's the section header. So that's like if you have different sections, then this will be like the title of each section. This is a title and body, which, what, which is what we just used. This is a title and two columns, which is a title. And then you have two organized columns of different writing or whatever. So then there's the title only slides. So you would type in a slide and the bottom half could be used for a custom text box or a um, uh, picture that you could title the picture. Um, then there's one column text. So you'd title the slide. Then you'd have one column of text. And then the other side you could use for a picture, etc. Um, then there's the main point slide, which is just a big text box with big font in the middle. And you just type in whatever you want if you just want to draw attention to something. Um, there's the section title and description. So instead of it being like uh, this section header uh, where it's like uh, just the title of the section, it will be the title of the section. It'll have a subtitle. So if you want to put like by your name again, or if you're collaborating with someone, um, and then it'll have a description of what this section is about. Then there's also a caption slide. So there's going to be like a title box at the bottom. And then above it, you could put a picture or some drawing or something like that, um, or a pie chart or anything like that. This big number one, uh, you don't really need to worry about. It's just for putting like a big percent. So like for businesses, if like their sales went up 30%, they could put a big 30% on the screen and then say our sales went up 30%. So that's just kind of a, you don't really need to worry about that. And then there's a blank slide. This one does not have any text boxes. It does not have any anything. It's just a blank slide with the background that you chose. Uh, so um, you could use this for like just a big picture. You could have a custom text box on that, which I'll go into more detail later. But um, you can basically use this for whatever you want. So for the next slide, I think I'm going to show you about the blank slides. So, like I said, there's nowhere that you can click and type. Like, I'm clicking all over right now, and you can't do anything. So, what you want to do is if you want to have a text box here, you're going to go up here where the little mouse is, and you're going to go over one to where the T surrounded by the box is. That is a text box. So, you're going to click that, and it should indent like this, and then it will turn your mouse pointer into like crosshairs. So see how when I drag it off that bar, it's crosshairs. Now you're going to want to drag and it should create a box like this, which is going to be your text box. So now you can type in here whatever you want to type. So um, yeah, so it just 
it's all whatever you want to do and uh like you just uh and then you could like shorten this like this and then you could put a picture down here now how you put a picture you may be asking so up here by the text box and the select option there's a image button you click that button it will pop up this window like this and if you have an image on your computer if it's on your desktop or if you have the folder that it's in open on your computer then you're going to click and drag it into this big box on here and it will automatically upload or you can click choose an image to upload and uh, you guys probably won't be able to see this but it'll pop up a window and you can scroll through your files until you find the picture you can take a snapshot um, with your webcam and your mic microphone or whatever uh, and then you can use your camera so um, like you could take a picture of yourself hi that's me so you could take a picture of yourself and put it on your um, on your presentation basically or you can take a picture with your webcam of a paper of anything in real life that you want to have in your presentation or you can click on this button right here that says buy URL and it says paste an image URL here so to do this you're gonna to want to open a new tab okay now what you want to do here is you're going to type in like say you wanted a picture of a dog so you're going to type in dog um, and um, then once it says uh, once it just pops up like this then it'll should be on all um, it should be on all excuse me um, and you're going to click on images and you can do this with anything. It doesn't have to be dog. You can do it with anything. So then you look through all these pictures and you say, oh, look, I like this dog. So you're going to click on it. It's going to do this. Then you see these buttons over here, right here. Um, you're going to want to click not visit page, but view image. Because if you click visit page, it will take you to the website that this picture is on. You don't want that. You want to click view image. Now it will take you into a blank page. And it will slowly load up your picture that you selected. So this is the picture that I chose. Um, and this is your... Uh, image URL so you're going to click in the address bar just click it should highlight it all in blue then you're going to right click with the other side of your mouse and it will pop up this drop down you're going to go down to copy and you're going to click copy now it is copied to your clipboard so now what you want to do is go back up to the top and go over to where it says my PowerPoint or whatever the title of your PowerPoint is. Click it and it should still have this image popped up. It says paste an image URL here. Then you're going to right click again with the other side of your mouse and you're going to go down and click paste. Once you do that you should see a little loading thing over here and it will say loading preview and then your image will pop up so this is the image that I selected and so then you're just gonna click select and it should in theory there it is so there's your picture now you can stretch the picture with these squares over here you just hover over them until it's a side to side or up and down or diagonal arrow um, and then if you just hover over the middle of it somewhere it should have this four-way thing and you just click and drag and that will um, allow you to move it 
Now, when you're dragging it around and you see the red lines, that this red line means that it is centered, um, or no, that it means that red line means that it's up against the bottom of your text box. If you move it down a little, or if you move it up a little, then you'll see this red line. That means it is centered horizontally. If you move it over, there should be two intersecting red lines. That means it is centered horizontally and vertically. So that means, so this basically means that this picture is in the direct, in the dead center of this slide. So if I drop it here, uh, you can see it's covering some of my text, and I don't want that. So I'm going to drag it down until I see the red line that signifies that it's touching the bottom of my text box, and I'm going to drop it. And then it is below my text. Now, if you want a picture, like say I wanted my picture right here, but I wanted the text over the top of it, what you're going to do is you're going to click on the text so that the blue box pops up. You're going to right-click, and you're going to go down to Order, and you're going to go over to where it says Bring to Front. Click that and it will bring it on top of your picture. But this is what this is the problem that I was talking about that we would run into. Um, so you see how it's hard to read the text right here because it's over the picture? That's just because the color we have doesn't contrast well with this picture. And it will take a long time to find a color that does. So what I recommend doing is just taking the picture and trying to center it up at least uh, vertically and uh, and lining it up with the bottom of your text box and just leaving it out here because it can be kind of a pain to get a good color with specific pictures. Now that you have your picture on that you like and you have your text. So this is, remember, this started out as a blank slide. We made our own text box and we added a picture, okay? So now what you want to do is go to New Slide with Layout and you're going to pick a slide. Now what I like to do with these main point slides is I like to spawn in, or not really spawn in, but I, I like to add one of these slides. I click on it until the blue box appears. Then I come over here and I hover over the blue line until that four-way directional thing appears. Then I move it so that it is centered in the slide because it comes to where it's off the slide, off the slide, off, the, off to the side. Then you're going to click in here and you're going to go up to here where it, uh, it's like, so there's the bold italic underline symbols up here. You're going to go over, there's an insert link thing, an add comment thing, and then you find this align thing. You click down, and it will open up a drop-down menu. Now what you want to do, if you're making this your final slide, then you're going to click center, and you're going to do either your call to action, or like you can put like the end and you can make your text uh, super big so you go over here and to where this number is and you and that is your font size so you can click down on the menu and select however big font size you want and uh, this is also your font up here if you want to change it most of the themes will come with their own font so I wouldn't worry about that too much uh, but if you want to then you the options there but anyways so that is your the end of your presentation right so now I'm gonna get into something that's a little bit more complicated you don't have to do this but if you want to it's nice it's called transition so you're gonna go up to this button up here that says transition you're gonna click it it's gonna open up this little animations tab on your side so it's going to say in red letters, slide, no transition. Okay? Now, 
A transition is basically how the slide will reveal the next slide. So, for instance, like there's this one where there's fade, slide from right, slide from left, flip, cube, gallery. And so you're going to pick one of these. And so I'll just do slide from left, for instance. And you're going to want to, to test out an animation that you want to see. You're just going to click play. And that is what your animation will look like. Okay. Now, I'll just slow it down so you guys can get a good look at it. But this is what it looks like. Okay. And you can slow down or speed up how slow or fast you want the animation to play. So if you want it to slide really fast, then you're going to move this slider up to fast. If you want it to slide really slow, you're going to slide it down to slow. And then I find that right in between medium and fast is about where I like it. Now, if you want all the slides to do the same thing, you're going to click apply to all slides. Now all the slides will slide in from the left. Or you can add a little bit of diversity and go into your next slide. It'll say the same thing. You're going to pick a transition. Um, and then you can test it out with play. Or you can just uh, leave it. And then uh, you're going to do the same thing for your next one. Uh, I'll just pick that one. And then finally, you're going to do that for this one. So... Now that you have your animations picked out for these, you can add animations on your text, but I don't recommend it because sometimes it can get really complicated and really crazy and just things just start flying everywhere and you don't know what's going on. And then you get into timers and it's kind of hard. I can make another video for those of you who, you, who think are ready for that. If you uh, feel like you can handle the complicatedness of the whole situation, but uh, I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial for now. So, um, uh, you're going to, you can close out your animations tab or leave it open if you feel like you need to make changes. So I'm going to leave it open for now. And then what you do when you want to present your presentation is you're going to go up here to this button that says present. Now, you can go over here and click st like present, and it will start your presentation. The drop-down menu um, is pre there will be presenter view, and it's audience Q and A and view with speaker notes. So you can add speaker notes down here, which is like if you're presenting it, they're like notes what you want to say, and then you can also click present from beginning. So if I'm on slide number four and I just click present, it's going to start on slide number four. But if you're on slide number four and you click present from beginning, it's going to start at slide one. Um, so yeah, basically that's it. You can also present it on another screen. So if you have a Google enabled device in your house, like Google Chromecast or Smart TV or something along those lines, then you can go ahead and there will probably be like a list of devices down here that you can present it on. So if you want to present it to your family on your TV, then you can go ahead and click on the TV and it will pop it up on the TV. But without further ado, let's test out our presentation. So it'll start up like this. You're going to have this little menu down here. Uh, you can go into present presenter view. Um, you have your laser pointer, so if you're demonstrating to like your family per se, um, you can use the laser pointer to like point and you're like, okay, so this is my title, this is my name, um, etc. So um, to get rid of this, once you've clicked on it, just go back down, click on it again, and it'll uh, go from color to black and white. You can make it not full screen by clicking this. Um, these are your options. Uh, they're kind of simple. It'll show your speaker notes. You can print it. You can download it. It's just kind of... Um, and then you can exit it right there. So uh, this play button is if you have your 
PowerPoint on a timer. Um, and I'll go into more detail how to do that if you guys want me to on a new video. But for now, you're going to have next and back or previous. And uh, your previous will be grayed out at first because you've, you're on the first slide, obviously, um, unless you start on a slide that's not the first slide. And you don't have to use these arrows. So you can go away from those arrows, and they should go away. Okay, maybe not. Anyways, so they will go away after we do this. So you can click anywhere on the slide and it will play your animation and go to the next slide. So this is the slide that we made. Now we can just click and it'll do our animation. This is the slide that this is the blank slide we made with our custom text box and our picture. Um, we can click again and this is our final slide. Um, if you click again then it doesn't do anything but see our previous arrow is now lit up but our next arrow is grayed out and that is because we can go backwards but we can't go forwards because there's no more slides after this because this is our last slide. So um, also there's this drop down menu that shows you it tells you what slide you're on and you can click on it and you can go to any one of these slides that you want to and then when you're done just click exit if you want to print your uh, slideshow then you're just gonna click print um, if you want to download it then you go to download as you can download it if you have Microsoft PowerPoint um, then you can download it as a Microsoft PowerPoint thing you can download it as an ODP now not many applications open these but if you do have an application that um, opens ODP documents then feel free to download it like that you can download it as a PDF you can download it as plain text which is virtually like you can run this on any machine but it will not run as a slideshow you can download the current slide that you're on as a picture either JPEG or PNG which are just pictures um, and it's just the slide that you're on or you can download it as a scalable vector graphics that is pretty advanced and we it's like a picture but we can get into that in a different video if you guys choose so um, I think that's about it if you have any questions feel free to ask me in class um, like in chat or something and then there is also this help button up here where you can search the menus so if you want to print it for instance and you can't find the print button then you just type in print and it'll pop up that you just click it and it'll print it uh, so yeah um, if you need any help feel free to email me um, I will leave I will uh, put my email on the screen real quick for you so if you want to email me, then uh, feel free. Uh, just don't be shy, and uh, I will get back to you as soon as I can. If you have any questions, um, then or again, you can like ask me in class, or you can email me. It just depends on what you're comfortable with. But anyways, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, again. It will save itself, so you can feel free to just close out of that, go over here, and uh, it will be in your Google Drive. So this is the one that we just made. Let's see, 355, and it's 356. So um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, please uh, don't forget to uh, you know, ask me in class what you want. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope it was very informational, so I'll talk to you guys uh, in class. See you later.